Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and we have another one here in 170 second scale diecast. We have one here from Hobby Master. It is the McDonnell Douglas F15 Eagle, and our aircraft here is actually the uh, F15E prototype. The Strike Eagle, built by McDonnell Douglas as a private venture to create an aircraft capable of ground attack capabilities whilst keeping its ability as an air superiority fighter. So this aircraft was a demonstrator aircraft known as the Advanced Fighter Capability Demonstrator, which first took to the air in 1980. And in 1981, the United States Air Force were looking for a replacement for the F-111. Now the F-15E here would be chosen over the F-16XL and the first aircraft would be delivered to squadrons in 1988. And it does come in a nice big box here from Hobby Master with the flap and the usual details in this flap if you're interested in any technical information. And of course this awesome looking F-15 sitting in here and that does look really nice, that camouflage scheme. <laughs> I'm looking forward to checking that out. Alright, so uh, let's do that right now. Let us uh, get this box open and get our hands on this F-15E prototype. All right, with this awesome F-15 prototype out of the box, it does come with the normal Hobby Master stand, of course, which is cool. It also does, hey, come with a set of instructions, which is uh, pretty straightforward. It's pretty comprehensive there. There's just got details where to put the ordnance and the landing gear options and everything like that, which is really handy. So if you don't have any instructions, whack it on pause, now you do. It does also have this little baggie here that does have a, uh, a whole ton of ordnance. <laughs> they do have uh, blue rings on them, so they look to be practice rounds. Uh, it does have some pilot figures in there as well. So there's a couple of little bits and pieces that we do need to affix to the aircraft. And we've got to get this lid off. Now, here we go. Well, there is another little baggie in there that does have more ordnance that we do need to put on, of course. And that does look fantastic. Uh, we're going to have some real fun setting this up does have your landing gear options and everything in there and of course this awesome F-15 here now of course if you do a like what you see remember at the end of the video when I have this shown on the turntable I do have the product number and everything on that so you can uh, use those details if you want to look it up to try and see if you can find one for yourself on the internet but this does look absolutely awesome check out that look at those panel lines really well done another fine uh, F-15 here from Hobby Master does look very tight the engine details are okay let us uh, let us jump in the cockpit check out the detail wow there is a, a ton of detail in there a ton of gauge detail see if we can put that back on that does look absolutely awesome even though canopy itself is so clear that is sweet We'll zip around here and have a look on this side. How cool does that look? Oh, I can't wait to set this up. Let us uh, turn it over, have a little look underneath. It's got some great detail underneath there. Straight out of the box, this looks tough, but uh, well, we've got to set this up, don't we? All right, we will do that right now. What we'll do is we'll go off and uh, chuck some ordnance on this and some uh, landing gear options, of course, and uh, have a real good look at this prototype eagle. We'll be back in a moment. All right, here we have this uh, prototype Eagle set up. Wow, in flight, uh, very straightforward as per usual. Gear bay door there, and a small one there and there, and that is job done for in flight. Now you get to put the ordnance on, which is a lot. <laughs> there is like 24 bombs, well, simulated bombs are there, as well as the air-to-air -air missiles, the side winders that are in there as well. And this thing, oh my God, it does set up. <laughs> this is a bomb truck. Wow. This does set up amazingly. That is insane. How bloody insane is that? <laughs> but uh, that is, yeah, I'm just, I'm speechless. This does look absolutely awesome though. This uh, does set up beautifully. And of course though, uh, if you want to put it on the stand. Now, normally though, with the stands that these come with, you can get away with uh, putting it on and keeping the ordnance on. But because this central one, this ordnance is not the usual. Normally you have like a fuel tank there or a, uh, a single larger bomb. But this sort of setup here is not the usual sort of setup that these uh, aircraft usually sort of have. Uh, so this is a little bit wide for that uh, cradle to go over. So you do actually have to remove this section off to be able to put that little cradle stand on like so. See, so, yeah, so normally you'd be able to fit uh, your ordnance there, like you'd have a tank or whatever poking through there. 
and that is on the stand and this is your awesome looking f15 wow this does look absolutely brilliant how awesome does that look i absolutely love it this this one does come up fantastic we'll put it on an angle just so, for something different but i reckon this does look fantastic and hopefully the uh the camouflage does come through on the camera nicely because this is brilliant i really dig this for sure but if you want to have like a little bit of a closer look this is the uh, racks that they do come with which is you know got some reasonable detail on it as well but uh what we'll do though we'll check this gear down and uh come back and have a look at this uh setup gear down and then we'll wind up that video for you all right we'll be back in one moment all right here we have the f15 setup gear down it does come with these two little generic pilot figures if you want to use them of course and this awesome setup does look fantastic we'll jump straight to the cockpit and have a little look at that that canopy goes on without a drama and it does have so much detail in there <laughs> this does set up beautifully you can't really see much of that engine detail in there but we'll go underneath and have a little look so very straightforward so you just put your two little gear bay doors in the open position and then drop your main landing gear they do feel um, like they're metal too so you can put a fair bit of pressure on when you're putting those in now you've got your nose wheel that is a complete module that just does drop straight in it doesn't quite push home now i'm pushing really goddamn hard there and it doesn't go any further so that is probably the only issue i will have is that it doesn't fit um, properly um, you could just keep pushing and pushing and uh, it doesn't quite go all the way home it nearly nearly does at the front but not at the back um, you shouldn't have to push that hard to put it into place anyway because you didn't need to do that with that that the main landing gear drops straight in without a problem same you can put your middle ordnance back in there as well and uh, that fills up that little gap and of course you do put your little uh, stand block off in there as well because you're not using the stand when you've got it geared down uh, so if you file probably the top a little bit, it'll seat uh, a lot better, of course. But I do these reviews always straight out of the box, just um, you know to show how they come straight out of the box. That's the way I like to do them. Um, it won't take much to get that to fit properly, so no big no big stress on my behalf. It doesn't detract from the model whatsoever. But I always like to try and you know show these as as honest and as raw as possible. That's why we always look at them straight out of the box as well, without having anything on them, and then we kit them out and uh, check them out as we do that but i reckon this does look pretty cool though i like it i like it a lot so if you like this or if you like f15s or even just like the video just for the hell of it don't forget hey, a couple of those somewhere down there of course always feel free to subscribe to the channel and always feel free to comment i like hearing from other collectors that is always fun hearing from other people and hearing other people's views you might think this is a pile of poo i don't I, as i said i love it but uh, always feel free to uh, say your opinion. Uh, I always try and answer everyone as well. So uh, if I haven't ever answered you, uh, I do apologize. But I always do try and personally answer everyone's uh, comments within a timely manner. Because I really appreciate all you guys dropping past and checking out a video. I, I really do. And speaking of videos, let's wrap this one up. You don't want to hear me talking too long. So uh, I'll do the usual. I'll take some photos of this and chuck them on at the end of the uh, video. And you can check this out without my sausage fingers being all over it. So once again, thank you very much for your time in uh, checking out another one of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this uh, McDonnell Douglas F15E prototype uh, from Hobby Master today. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for your time. You all have an awesome rest of your day. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>